Okay, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to connect multiple four-wire conventional duct smoke detectors off of one addressable monitor module. In this uh, demonstration I'll be using the system sensor D4120. And if you're wondering why it's white, this is actually the D4120W which is used for weatherproof or outdoor applications. So with that said, uh, you can see up here in the top left-hand corner we're using an addressable monitor module from Notifier. And like I said, system sensor, four-wire conventional duct smoke detectors. So now the common thing that people make a mistake with this usually is when they're running their wires for these, they'll just run two wires. One for their IDC uh, class B zone and another pair of wires for the 24 volts. When in reality, when doing this uh, properly, you actually need three pairs of wires between all of your duct smoke detectors. And this demonstration will be using two duct detectors which will represent the first and last on the loop, but you can actually have multiple detectors in between these two in the actual field application. But to make this simple, we're just going to go ahead and use two. So coming off of the addressable monitor module, we'll have our IDC Class B zone going directly to the common and normally open of the alarm contacts on the first duct detector. And then coming out of those same contacts, we're going to run over to the next duct detector's common and normally open contacts. Now, like I said, if you have multiple duct detectors, you're going to jump it in between all these uh, alarm contacts all the way to the last device before you go to any other contacts such as supervisory contacts or anything like that because you want to make sure that at a minimum your alarm contacts are, contacts are the first things hit so that way if there is trouble, you're not opening up your circuit. Uh, thus eliminating the possibility for the circuit to be shorted out in an alarm condition. So now with that said, uh, we're at our last device here on the loop, and you can see the wire coming in with the yellow stripe on it is our IDC coming into our common and normally open uh, contacts here on the duct detector. And instead of laying the resistor directly on those wires that you typically do with an IDC circuit, we're going to go ahead and put that resistor across the common on alarm and the common on the supervisory contacts. Then we're going to run another wire from the normally open supervisory contact number 14 and that wire is going to come back to the first duct detector on the common number 3 of the supervisory contacts. Then lastly there's another wire that goes out of your normally open contact on the first duct detector number 14 back to the normally open on the alarm contacts. So basically what you've done here is you have your alarm contacts coming in and out of all the, or your IPC circuit coming in and out of all of your alarm contacts, and then you have your resistor in series to all the supervisory contacts, going from the last device all the way back to the first device. That way, if any of these devices on the entire loop go into trouble, which could be anything from loss of power, a cover being removed, dirty detector, a wiring problem between the circuit board and the sensor. If any of those issues come up, it's going to open the supervisory contacts here and it's going to open up your circuit and cause a trouble on your addressable monitor module. So like I said, keep in mind when you're wiring up multiple duct detectors that you use this method and make sure you always, no questions asked, always land the wires first down to the alarm contacts and then at the very last device you're going to run your resistor in series through everything back to the first one. Alright, so be sure to check out any of their videos. If you guys have any questions, post them in the comments. Uh, if you have any other topics you want me to uh, describe or explain, feel free to put that in the comments as well. And check out our website at firealarmsonline.com.